I think I'm gonna have to close the blinds. Maybe it'll pass. Welcome back to my channel. It's Love Always Endures. If you are new here, welcome. Today I want to talk to you about hair removal. So there's a method of hair removal out there that I haven't really seen on YouTube as much as I would like. When I was researching it and trying to find out if it was something I was interested in, I went straight to YouTube. I went to Google, of course, and then I went to YouTube because I was trying to see people who have done it. Also, people who were trying to get the same area done as I'm trying to get done. The method is called electrolysis and it's basically um, a permanent hair removal technique. Can I say again, permanent. permanent. This was so big for me. If I'm gonna spend this much money on hair removal, I need it to be permanent. I need this investment to last me for a lifetime. I did the laser hair removal thing back in college and even a little bit after college, I probably spent upwards of $1,200 on laser hair removal over time and I was using a coupon every time. So I was spending a lot of money on this service and not only did it take a really long time before I started seeing results, but also the results didn't last once I stopped the treatments. So ideally with laser hair removal, you can become that client who only has to get a touch up once or twice a year, which would be great. But I realized very quickly, it probably would take me close to three years before I got to that point. And so it was just starting to get really frustrating for me. Let me tell you a little bit about my armpits, okay? This is the area that I'm choosing to get um, electrolysis done on. So my armpits um, are, they fight me. They, they really, they really be like, fighting me like it's like they 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 don't <laughs> they're really they're really not on my side and I, I don't know why it is shaving they hated hated it when I shaved them now mind you if you want to keep smooth hairless armpits you probably need to shave every day or every other day that was not the move for me. Dragging a razor over my skin on a regular basis left my armpits inflamed, irritated. I got razor burn and razor bumps. Like my armpits were looking a hot, hot mess because of all of the irritation that was happening because everything was just so abrasive to my armpits. I also dealt with discoloration. And so now you not only have ingrown hairs and razor bumps, but your armpits are like extra, extra dark, which as you know, if you have melanin, you know, we brown girls, we already deal with hyperpigmentation in certain areas on our body, you know, and the armpits is just not a place where you want it to look like you have hair from a distance. Like somebody, you know, you, you, you waving at somebody or trying to get somebody's attention and from a distance, it's so dark and you've got so many ingrown hairs that it looks like you haven't shaven. That became a problem for me, obviously. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman, I wanna be able to raise my armpits, I wanna be able to feel like I have smooth, supple skin. Like nobody's trying to deal with like jagged, the claws of death, alligator skin, bump skin. Nobody is trying. And she bumped my light. I wasn't trying to deal with that. So I was looking for some more long-term, more effective hair removal solutions for me personally. When I found out about electrolysis and in all of my research, it was basically saying that it was permanent. I had to find out. I was like, wait a minute, what? And I started really, really researching because some people will call laser hair removal permanent and I don't consider that a permanent solution. You see what I'm saying? So something that I could pay per hour to get several sessions done and then over time, not ever, ever, ever have to go back. That was huge. The form of electrolysis that my electrologist uses is called thermolysis, which is basically heat. So basically she sticks a, a needle into my hair follicle and as she pulls it out, she zaps it with heat. On a pain scale of one to 10, I'd say it's probably a one or a two. She does use Novocaine on the area and usually she can take care of my armpits pretty quickly. Um, my electrologist also prorates, so if she doesn't use the full hour, she doesn't charge me the full amount. I'm finding that over time, I'm not only spending less and less money because she's spending less and less time, but I'm finding that because I'm budgeted for a certain amount that I have leftover money. 
I'd say after my second session, I could already see my hair growing in so, so, so much thinner. The waxing worked really, really great for me. I had to wax my armpits like maybe every two weeks. It helped so much with the hyperpigmentation. I didn't really deal with as many ingrowns and the ones that I did get, I picked them out. Like it was pretty much a smooth sailing process, but still a process nonetheless, because if you've had waxing before, you know that you have to let your armpits or the body part that you're getting waxed grow out so that the, the wax has something to grip. So certain parts of the body may be longer than others. I know Brazilians and bikini waxes, it's usually four to five weeks, but for armpits, at least for me, it was every two weeks. But the first week I'd be baby smooth and then the second week when the hair was starting to come back, I found myself having to grow my armpit hair out pretty long. And even though it came in thinner than normal, I didn't enjoy being on the beach or poolside with armpit hair, but I knew I couldn't shave it because it would throw off the hair pattern and it was too early to wax it, so you just try to keep your armpits down. So obviously it's not the worst thing in the world. Women do it all the time, but I personally was just over my armpits. Like ever since my armpits have been growing hair, I've just been over the hair there. I'm trying to be boiled egg, baby seal, smoother than a baby's bottom status with the hair removal. I don't want the body hair, I really, really don't. I found the electrologist, I was very happy with her rate and I'm very happy with how quickly my armpits are taking to it. One thing that I have found that I struggled with was, again, hyperpigmentation. And it's just a thing that is my plight. When it comes to hair removal, I normally have some scarring that takes place, um, especially because with electrolysis, Basically, it's it's an abrasion on the skin, so it leaves a little hole and your white blood cells fill in the gap and make a little itty bitty pore sized scab. And when the scab comes off, which is normally within a day or two, my skin likes to leave a little hyperpigmentation behind it. So I had some options. She offered me two to four weeks of coming in and I found that I really need the full four weeks and that's because I need time to get my hyperpigmentation to go away. I don't wanna pile on hyperpigmentation on top, darkness on top of darkness. When I started going sooner, I found that I wasn't able to get ahead of some of the scarring and the, the discoloration that was taking place. Let me tell you what was the key. What is the key for me? Exfoliation. I have learned to exfoliate like a mad woman. Now mind you, some people, depending on your skin, depending on different things, you know, it's, there might be such thing as too much exfoliation. But for me, I exfoliate twice daily, twice. So I use a scrub and then I use a brush to scrub my armpits. And that's what helps me over the span of four weeks to get my armpits back light enough to feel comfortable to go back and get electrolysis so that they can darken up again. So it's a, it's a constant thing for me and I'm realizing that I'm just gonna have to deal with this during the duration of my electrolysis, but I imagine that I will be done in another six months and I won't have to worry about it. Now I wanna share with you the methods that I've been using to get rid of the hyperpigmentation that takes place in between my sessions. One of the big things that I've been doing is scrubbing my armpits. So I have a body scrub. I know this says tree hut on it, but this is just the jar. I have made my own scrub. This here has avocado oil, coconut oil, sugar, and turmeric, and that is why it's this color. It has natural brightening properties, which is why I use it to kind of brighten up the skin. And then I also use my back brush. Um, I use it on my back and on my armpits, and I basically make sure that I scrub. If I do that every time I shower for four weeks, then when it's time for me to go back to my appointment, my armpits are not as discolored, and I feel a lot more comfortable getting the hair removed again, opposed to piling it on like I mentioned before. All in all, I've been super, super impressed with the process. I've been impressed with the time frame. I know that depending on what city you live in, you may spend a little bit more, a little bit less. I'm really, really excited about this process. I've been telling all my friends about it because I've really been seeing some great results and I could see this being a thing for me. I think that's pretty much all I wanna say for now. I am gonna come back and give you all some more information and kind of touch on where I'm standing with my progress. Um, I actually wanna to come to you and discuss a little bit more about the healing process of electrolysis and what that looks like for me over the weeks. So stay tuned for more videos. If you did like this video though, and there's more that you want to see on this topic or topics like this, please go ahead and comment below and let me know that you enjoyed what you saw. 
Also, be sure to click the like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you know about my future uploads. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.